cool. What's up, makers? This episode is all about doing things quick and dirty, so I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. I've got this can of shaving cream, and like the first time I was using it, I dropped it on the floor, and the cap just shattered into a billion pieces. So now it's really hard to get anything out of here. I'm all about preventing waste, so I don't want to throw this thing away. It's like brand new, but you know, no one sells caps for shaving cream. That'd be kind of silly. And I don't want to spend a lot of time making one either. So today I'm going to show you how you can solve a problem super quickly. I'm going to just come up with a really quick design, nothing special, just to get some damn shaving gel out of this can. The objective is simple. The time is now. Let's go. So here's the top of the can, and you can see where the nozzle broke off. So what we're left with is this plastic tube. And when you press down on the tube, the shaving gel comes out of the center. So we just need to measure two things. First, the diameter of the tube, so that we can fit something on top of it. And also how much that tube sticks up, so we give our nozzle space to press down. Once we have that information, we'll open up SolidWorks and start drawing on the right plane. I'm going to draw a center line so we can do a revolve. So basically you can imagine the tube like this where you've got two walls and we want to press down on the top edge of them while leaving a space in the center for the gel to flow through. So I'm basically just making a cylinder with some cutouts on the inside to serve our function. Then I'll start bringing in dimension. Uh, this is the tube that's going to have the gel flowing through it so I'll make that 2.5 and this next cylinder cutout fits on top of the tube, so I'll make that 4.1 millimeters. I make the other walls 2 millimeters thick, just so they're robust enough, and I'll make the whole thing 10 millimeters tall so that it's manageable, but still really small so it can print quickly. So now I basically have a nozzle that will fit on top of the tube, and I just need to complete the channel so that the gel can flow all the way through. So I'm basically going to make it come out at a right angle, and the way I'll do that is with a sketch on the front plane, and I'll just make a rectangle that matches the width of that inner tube. And I'll use that sketch to do an extrude cut in one direction. And that completes the channel where the gel will flow through. But for usability's sake, I'm going to make the tube extend to the side a bit more. I draw one rectangle that matches the width of the entire nozzle, and then another rectangle that matches that channel where the gel is coming through. Some would say you should define this bottom line, but like I said, we're going quick and dirty, so I'm just going to exit the sketch and we're going to do an extrude. But rather than extruding from that plane, we're going to do an offset and then extrude towards the nozzle so that we can use this up to next command and that keeps the whole inside channel intact so that the gel can flow through. Next I'm going to put a chamfer on the bottom so that it comes off the build plate nice and easy. And two more here just to make things more symmetrical. And finally I'll put one more small chamfer on this inside cylinder so that it fits onto the nozzle more easily. So I sent that to the printer, and within six minutes, I had my part. So I ran the part up to my bathroom and stuck it on that nozzle. And it fit pretty well. You can see where the layers jumped a little bit on my printer, but it still works, so no big deal. So there you guys have it. In less than 30 minutes, I was able to fix this bottle up, saved a lot of waste, and uh, my life is now marginally better. Hope that was interesting for you guys, and I hope you're inspired to find out little ways that 3D printing can quickly save you some waste, save you some time, and so on. I got a little too excited there. <laughs>